Hi guys, today I want to forge myself a new Pritchell. Um, I've titled it Pritchell Stroke Punch because the process involved is the same really, whether you're making a punch or a Pritchell. Um, you just stop a bit sooner if you're making a punch. And this is the one I want to replace because it's actually split. Let's see if I can get it to focus to show you. Now you can see there that line right down the middle goes right the way up to here, right the way down to the tip and consequently I can't keep a decent point on it, it just keeps splitting every time I try and use it. It does go up this side as well, you can't quite see it but it trust me it does, it's not on either of the other two sides but it's just gone right the way through the middle that way. So I'm going to bin this one um, and what I'm going to do is forge it out of another one, another Allen key. They're both the same size, that's what this one was, I think it's a 9 sixteenths. Um, so I'm just going to bend this straight and then forge the end out into another point. Right, what I'm going to use is probably three hammers, heavy one, medium weight and a relatively lightweight, I think they're four pound, two and a half pound and a pound and a half. And obviously you need a good set of hollow bit tongs, something that will be able to hold it good and, good and strong, good and tight so it's not going to flap about. That always makes so much difference if you've got a decent pair of tongs. Right, so let's get set up and get going. First thing we're going to do, straighten that bend out. Doesn't matter how you do it, I'm just going to knock it back. Just using the middle weight hammer at the moment just to straighten it out. And that really is all there is to it on the straightening side of it. And whilst it's still a little bit warm, I'm going to start drawing it down with the heavy hammer. It's the same as I've said before, you just draw everything down square. I know you're probably sick to death of me saying it, but that's the way to do it. Carry on. And you can see it's pretty tough stuff this Allen key material. I have no idea what it is, so don't ask. I just know that uh, if it's good enough to use as an Allen key, it must be pretty good to use as a punch. And we're getting there. Now you can see that's drawn down to about, I don't know, three eighths of an inch on the end, something like that. Probably, yeah, probably three eighths of an inch square. You just see. So if you wanted to make a, a 3 8 square punch, you just tidy that up and leave it as it is. It, you know, that's it. Just chuck it on the floor. That's your punch done. Um, if you wanted to make a round punch, you take the edges off like I normally show you if you're doing a round punch. Tidy that up, chuck it on the floor. That's your pu round punch done. It really doesn't matter. You just you can make whatever you like. You can flatten it off and make a chisel point. You can round it off and put a dent in the end. Hit it over a um, ball bearing to put a, make a, a an indent in the end for making eyes on animals and things. Um, whatever you like. The, the 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 possibilities are endless. But that's all it all it takes. And because you're using it on hot material, you don't need to do anything else to it. Just chuck it on the floor. If you want to use it on cold material, that's a different story. So let's carry on. Draw it down a bit more. Still using the heavy hammer, although I could probably have gone to the medium one by now. It's coming down quite nicely. Alright, so there you go, you're getting there. Drawing it down, pulling it out, so I'm going to go down to the 
middle size hammer now because I want to have much more control. I think I've said this on other videos. Those great big heavy old hammers. They're good for moving material, but when it comes to control, you want a bit more finesse. So a lighter hammer does the trick. And I'm just going to tidy it up a bit further back. As you can see I'm using lighter blows, but it's still moving the material. And as I say, you've got much more control with a smaller hammer, or a lighter hammer. And that end needs to be um, quite small for this pritchel, so I'm going to go now down to the smaller hammer. Again, because I'm almost done with it. You start hitting it with a great big hammer and you'll end up making a hell of a mess. Right, now this is a nail and I've just cut the head off it. And I've cut about, probably a little bit less than I need actually, it should be about three eighths of an inch off a size four nail. And that is the shape that I want the end of the pritchel to be because that's the shape of the hole that I want to put in the concave steel when I'm making the shoe. And that's a dead easy way of having a, a guide as to what the end of your your pritchel needs to be like. Just simply cut the end off a nail. Obviously they're going to be slightly different for different sized nails. Now I'm just going to square the end off by hitting it downwards. That puts a nice sharp edge onto it. And that is just about it. If you can see that. It's not very clear, but you'll get the idea. If I can find the nail, I don't quite know what I've done with it. What did I do with it? I just had it in my hand a second ago. Anyway, never mind. You get the idea. That should be the same as the cut nail. And hitting it on the end like that, what it does, it just makes the end slightly fatter than just behind it. So when you punch through the material, it doesn't bind. It just punches out cleanly. It's only swollen it and gnats, but it's just enough to punch it out clean. And that is it. All I've done is wire brushed it up for no other reason than to uh, make it look a bit better. There you go, 9 sixteenths. And that is still very hot. I haven't done anything with it. I've just let letting it cool naturally. You can see I haven't quite finished off the marks out of it there, but you know, I don't need to. It's it's just a pritchel. And I should just let that cool. As I say, because you're using it in hot metal, there's no point hardening and tempering and anything like that because it's just going to get hot and take it all out again when you bang it through hot material. So there you go. Punch stroke pritchel. See you on the next one.